Welcome to American Roots. Tonight, Joe and I are camping. We thought we would bring you along with us. We are up at Payson. So we thought maybe you would like to camp with us tonight. So let's get the truck unpacked because we're losing daylight quick. It's gonna fit. You almost got it. You're right there. I'm gonna, I think you're gonna have to need some storage here. Hold on. Fancy. Told you. Right. I think it's great. And good. it was free. I think I gotta put a rain fly and everything else on. Yeah, I think you should, cause. Yeah. We're gonna bake cookies tonight. Got the toilet tent set up. This is what we've put together. There's Clorox wipes and toilet paper and the very best ever. You know, that's a great thing to have for an emergency kit because I put toilet paper, I put everything in there that I need. And then it just lives inside there, and that's a toilet on the go. All right, we're gonna have some steaks for dinner. We've been marinating. We've got wood. We're gonna let those cook and We'll come back to them. Oh, they just smell so amazing. They look so perfect. Oh, they just look so good. Again, this is using wood. They're gonna taste amazing. Oh boy. Those look delicious. Yeah. Perfect. Really Let them rest and it's time to eat. Wow. How's it taste? Delicious. Eat yeah. a bite. It's amazing. <laughs> it's like butter. It tastes like butter. And it's just falling apart. Delicious. And we're going to put that on the grate. And I'm gonna let it heat up like an oven. Thanks. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna try cooking off these peanut butter cookies in the Dutch oven on the fire. Let's see how it turns out.
We got four minutes. Should we check them? I can smell them. Can you? Oh, careful. Ooh. Oh, burning a little bit. One's dead. burned. The one next to the fire. Yeah, take them off. So that one that we had like right really close got burned. It's too hot. Food. We just made cookies in the Dutch oven. Good job. Nice. With the exception of the one that got burned. So it's right there on the rock. We're going to let these cool and I'll show you the bottoms. If you put your hand over that grate, it's hot enough that you could cook like a burger or steak on it. I mean, look at the cookie. <laughs> you could cook a burger. Well, that one's burned, but. That one's not. Oh, Joey, get the good one. Show him that one. So that's the bottom. That's a good one. Show me This is the bottom of the other one. Bummer. It's okay. It's good. How'd you like cooking them on the Dutch oven? They're delicious. How else would you cook cookies in the wilderness? I don't know. <laughs> if you eat the cookie like a three-year-old. Yeah, they're delicious on top. <laughs> it's pretty good. I ate all of the top of mine. All that's left is the burned bottom. <laughs> Not bad. Burned bottom. They taste good. It was a nice sweet treat. <laughs> Back up dessert. Freeze-dried pineapple. So I forgot the cooking oil. Um, we created like a bin for cooking and it had like um, my cooking oil in it and I took it out because we hadn't gone camping in a while and I didn't want it to go bad. Well, we didn't put it back. So I'm out here trying to cook these hash browns with no cooking oil. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna cook the bacon we're gonna render the bacon and use the fat from that for our hash browns. So there's the bacon fat. And you know, kind of disappointing that you buy a pound of bacon and that's what you get. But at least in this situation, we can use it to our good. It'll be nice when we're raising our own pigs and making our own bacon update on the hash browns. They are absorbing the liquid nicely. We're going to let them sit there and reconstitute while we wait for the bacon.
This is going to be great for the hash browns. They're probably going to taste amazing. There's Joe getting tonight's firewood ready. <laughs> Earning his keep. He's not doing bad. He found some wood and he's starting to get a good head start on it. We brought two little bales of wood with us and burned that last night. So we finished it off this morning. So this will be good. <laughs> One of the things I did was prepared all the food before we left to make it a little easier. So I've got the breakfast veggies that I can throw in on the side of the potatoes. Put those in with the eggs. Mm. All right, so I've got the eggs, veggies, and hash browns cooked and ready to go. Time to serve up breakfast. Hi. Just relaxing. <laughs> Edward says traffic. <laughs> Just relaxing in the hammock. What'd you say? Does it look like there's somebody in the hammock? Well, because of the big shoe hanging out. <laughs> hey. So we just drove about 10 miles away from the campsite to get ice cream. Yep. From this little ice cream shop in Pine, Arizona. And the weather is gorgeous. It's about 78 degrees right now. Really beautiful. We'll take you guys with us. We'll show you some shots of heading back to the campsite. We can fill up our pail of water. Problem is that you don't really know if that's drinkable. You don't have any idea, and even boiling it, what's in it? Yeah, that's scary. I don't know if I would use that for drinking water. You'd probably have to be pretty desperate. One of the things we're trying to do, aside from detox, relax, get away for a minute, is to brush up on our survival skills so that we start to really pinpoint what we really need at a campsite and what's just fluff. Like for instance, we really need to have a phone charger if you expect to have any kind of phone. Um, so you need some kind of battery pack or something to charge. We brought our sink and our shower with us and our bathroom and that has really been helpful. It sounds funny. So there is the pile of wood that we've gathered. We've managed to cut and prepare. We've got a choice blend of kindling, somebody on their ATV, and some good solid wood logs. Be good fire night.
coolest part about that is that's a skill of being able to cook with wood. We found the wood, we chopped the wood, we burned the wood, and then now we're learning how to cook our food with it. That's a free resource. Very valuable. All right, perfectly toasted buns, burgers with cheese. Time to dish it up and eat. Probably the best burger I've ever had. What is the way to go? Free resources. What's better than that? So we're going to try making cookies again. Um, a little thing that we started talking about was in the oven, your um, cookie sheet wouldn't be right on the heating element. So we are trying to think about how much space you need between the heat source and what you're cooking so that they don't come out burned. I'm gonna keep an extra close eye on these ones. We've just brewed fresh coffee. One of the things that could be helpful would be like an infrared thermometer because then I could tell what temperature the inside of it was. So Joe got the idea that maybe we should make like a little cookie tray. So we made that out of tin foil, put the parchment paper on top, and now I'm gonna put it inside of the Dutch oven. set the timer for like 10 minutes this time and check them every five. Yeah, they need a little longer. All right, so we're going to let those cook for about another probably five minutes. Just keep an eye on them. Now that we're not using that direct heat, that's probably what's making it just take a little bit longer. But that's okay. I'd rather them take a little longer than be burned. Cookies in the woods. Mm. Never thought about that. Where's your we hope you've enjoyed camping with us. Hope you've learned something. Drop down in the comments the best way that you have used your Dutch oven. We'd love to hear about it. We're learning a bunch of new stuff and it's exciting to see all the different things that we can do with a Dutch oven. Until next time, we pray that you're blessed. We'll see you soon. Bye.